All right, everyone, welcome back to uh, Super Lily Bros. Uh, today we're gonna see what's behind door number one here. We're just over here in the fire dungeon of uh, Wind Waker. And uh, we're just having a good time, aren't we, Christian? You know you can do that special move on these guys, right? Yeah, I can, but like, get around them in this little corridor here. Well, if you can. But it's always the optimal view. Uh -huh. So I got a little, I got a question for you. Just an interesting little uh, thought experiment, right? Alright. Um, so we were talking just a second ago about like, the language of Zelda games. Mm -hmm. Um, gosh, where's the... I need, I need a, a Deku stick. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it right either. That guy came Do you out. actually have to think for this one? Yeah, it is. No way. Hold on. Something's wrong. Something's, something's fishy. Something's wrong about this. Go back that way. I missed something. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I don't have that either. Zelda, you son of a gun. And he actually got me. Hold on a second. Was that guy supposed to have something? I feel like I accidentally destroyed it. Like, I feel like I tried to kill him, and then he must have, like, got thrown into the torch or something like that. That shouldn't be possible. It shouldn't be. Alright, so here's my question. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, my question is Um... Talking about the, like the, the language of Zelda games and, and how like uh, playing them over time um, will like <clears throat> um, like teach you how to play other Zelda games by playing first Zelda games. Yeah. Um. So what's the proper order that someone should play through Zelda games? I mean, I feel like it depends. What? Are you talking about someone that just has no experience with... Like, zero experience. See, that's that's difficult, because it usually depends whichever your first one is. And then from there, you, like, play ones that are, like, similar to it. Because now the old ones, I mean, they're not they're not bad, but like, you play them, you're just like, wow, this is, this is old. Like, that went old. When you say old, do you mean 2002? This was 20 years ago. I, I mean, like, the originals. I mean, like, I'm talking Zelda 1, I'm talking Zelda 2. Okay. Maybe even A Link to the Past. Okay. I think... Man, I... So now I even want to say maybe the first one people should play is maybe Breath of the Wild. That yeah. seems like a good, like... It seems like to be the gateway now that people have to, like, the franchise. <laughs> the gateway drug... Like, most people don't think that it's like they'll like give it a try just because of the craze, but they like aren't like about to play the whole thing, and then they end up playing the whole thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're kind of like, oh yeah, what's the famous game? But it's probably not for me because I don't like open world games. So they're thinking Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, and it's just a very different game. But that's what so. It's hard for me because Breath of the Wild is absolutely an excellent game, right? Yeah. But it is... It's hard for me to suggest as someone's first Zelda game because then they're going to be like, oh, now I want to play all the other Zeldas. And it's going to be nothing like that game. Like, they're going to be fairly linear experiences. And a lot of people use it as a dirty word. I don't mind linear Zelda games. I, I wouldn't use the word linear. i just say they are... They are much more linear than that game in particular. Yeah. They're 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 just they're open world, but they're not open world in even remotely the same way. Yeah. And uh let's see if I landed it first shot. Yes. That was not nearly as hard as what I had to do. <laughs> not even kind of. Not even kind of. Um yep. But like, so yeah, I feel almost feel like Breath of the Wild, even though it's an excellent game in and of itself, 
feels better as a culmination of other Zelda games. But also, it's yep. like if you have played the other Zelda games, there's certain things you're gonna be disappointed by, like For sure. Man, this this dungeon like it's it's hard with that one. And I also think it's like for different people, there's different Zelda games that'll be your better first one. I, I mean, I also know a ton of people that love this game, too, that aren't super into Zelda in general. Like, I know a couple people that I didn't even know played games, and they'll describe Wind Waker to me as like, Oh, I really like this one. You know that Zelda game where Link has, like, the big eyes? Or they even, yeah. they, where Zelda has the big eyes? <laughs> Hey. hey. So like, like if you are a big lore guy, then you should probably play like Ocarina of Time, or you should probably play like Skyward Sword first, then Ocarina of Time, then Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, then Wind Wake. They, like just work your way down the timelines. Do you do you think people should play through the timeline? I recently. Uh, I feel like nobody has done that. Recently, my wife and I, uh, Megan played through all the Zelda games for the first time, and we actually, we started with Wind Waker, we started with Breath of the Wild, then Wind Waker, then she played Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, um, Majora's Mask, um, Twilight Princess, and that was a really interesting experience to see her reaction to how things were developing. That's that's not through the timeline though, is it? Is that? Uh, it's through one timeline. That that is the complete child timeline. That's from Skyward Sword to Twilight Princess is the complete child timeline except for Four Swords. So Skyward Sword was the first one she played. Uh, so the first one she actually played was Wind Waker, but and that kind of leads me to this. I think Wind Waker is a really good for gameplay because it's way easier than a lot of Zelda games are. I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's more friendly towards newcomers. I wouldn't say it's necessarily easier, though. Which is, I think that's a good thing. Okay. I think that's, like, what you want for a game like this. Yeah, I can see that. Um, yep. That was a mistake. Um, yeah, I, I can see what you mean. Because yep. Skyward... <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> God. Skyward Sword is really easy. But it's like, <laughs> what? Take a, take a shot every time we mention Skyward Sword in a positive way. <laughs> You'll be very sober by the end of the day. Yeah. Um, You'll be more sober than you were when you started. <laughs> but like, it's really, really easy because they give stuff away. And they're just really afraid of you getting lost in that game. They're really afraid of you not knowing what to do. They're afraid of newcomers coming to the game. And not knowing what to do. So Skyward Sword, ironically, teaches you a lot of Zelda tropes really well because it's made for newcomers. But the difference between Skyward Sword is and Wind Waker is you are going to have one of two reactions to those um, controls. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them. I've never met someone who's like they're okay. I mean me. <laughs> are you? You're in a. They're okay. I thought you really liked them. I I I enjoy them i enjoy it but i don't i don't love it i wouldn't say i i much prefer this type but when i play it it doesn't like make me mad or anything oh, it makes me so mad <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> is that so but yeah um so it's like i'm always afraid to suggest skyward sword as someone's first cell game because like, I'm afraid that they like Skyward Sword, not like the controls, and then... Because it's, it's about a 50-50 shot. Second Stop feather missing lost. the feathers! Second feather lost. Um, but that they, they will get frustrated with the controls, and then give up on the whole franchise. Yeah. So I feel like Wind Waker is pretty easy. Like, it's easier than... Twilight Princess for combat. It's easier than Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask for sure, because it has a more modern sensibility. Um, but it teaches you a lot of the Zelda tricks. 
So for like lore, I always say Skyward Sword first. Skyward Sword has a really good story. Yeah. Yeah. The story is so. I, I don't know. It, you're just very. Wait, wait, you're not. Well, originally I was just, I was actually going to say, you really don't have to play through the story, like, the way they're supposed to be, like, in the timeline, yeah. or whatever. I feel like that's, that's interesting for people who care, but even, even for us, that love this franchise, we haven't even played it like that. I mean, I technically have now. But well, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like, we were like everyone else, like. This or Twilight Princess is probably our first game, yeah. and that's how we see the franchise. Yeah. So now, if it's not like Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, I'm like, well, this isn't a Zelda game. I mean, that's that's pretty much everybody has a game like that. Yeah. Now people people love um, A Link to the Past, mm -hmm. and even though like, yeah. like, of course, like it's like a, the franchise is in a complete different place now. People are like. Well, that's always just going to be the greatest one. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll tell you that a link, I have really come around on A Link to the Past. And a lot of what I like about A Link to the Past is also in Breath of the Wild. Um, I think I finally nailed down... There's two things that A Link to the Past really, really, really gets right. Um, and that is... Those are the exploration is perfect in that game. Mm -hmm. I've never been more satisfied from exploring a top-down game like that than in the The second thing is, it's really... It allows you to have a lot of optional upgrades all over the place. Like, if you think about Wind Waker, you have one or two upgrades. You can wear the mask that just lets you see people's um, health bars, so it's not very useful. And you have the um, the magic armor, which is almost useless. Um, but um, in A Link to the Past, you have three different mails, three different upgrades to the sword, an upgrade to your. I, I guess you can get upgrades to your um, your bomb bag and your quiver too. But in A Link to the Past, you can get stronger arrows. And stronger, uh, uh, a stronger boomerang. Like, you can upgrade everything, and it's not all in the same place to the same system. You explore, and you can just find, like, all these optional things. So by the time that I've gotten to Ganon, I feel like I've customized myself and explored the world and gotten the reward of being really powerful. Uh, and that, it's just this uniquely satisfying experience to have the red mail and the, the golden master sword. I feel like my Link to the Past was probably a Link Between Worlds. Because I... I mean, I've, I've played a Link to the Past. I, I never really... I never really had enough interest in it to play the whole game through. I only played about... Maybe like the first three... Levels or dungeons. Yeah. But a Link Between Worlds, I, I just absolutely, like, I played it. And I just instantly was like in love with it. Like that's and I and I feel like they're pretty similar. Yeah, they are. I mean, I don't. I probably can't say that, but they they seem like it. They, no, they are. I mean, I've I've 100 percented both of them, and they like everything that there is to like about Wind Wake, uh, about A Link to the Past. Or you can like that about A Link Between Worlds. It, the only thing that I think is not as like, that is arguably worse is what your response is to not having items in dungeons. Yeah. And the graphics and music I'm not a big fan of. The music? And A Link to Worlds. Really? Yeah, I, I just... It, there's something about that trumpet-led sound that just doesn't jive with me. I, I like the music a lot. Because I, I feel like it, it has a lot of links to fast music in it, but it's like, you know, it's, it's a lot better. Now there's a big, there's a big exception to that. That is, um, high room, or, uh, castle, final castle. Yeah. It's so, and th there's a lot of exceptions to that rule, but as a general rule, I actually prefer the castle. Yeah. What? <laughs> 
Never mind. <laughs> Next year, if you kill it, you have to use it. That was my question. Oh, no, yeah. Um. But yeah, so I think it depends. So if you want a more heavy exploration of the legends, <laughs> I fly away. Um. At the speed of sound. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, like I feel like if you're into one of the 2D games and you're gonna want to play a different set of games, then if you're wanting to like get the gameplay and learn the gameplay first, versus if you're a lore person, um, versus and then there's people like this who I love playing games in order of how they came out. Yeah. Like I love, uh, like so someone might want to start with Ocarina of Time. Then go Majora's Mask if you're just playing the 3D games. Okay. Um, but the Legend of Zelda is one of the very few franchises that I say, even if you're a person who play who likes to play through how the the order of how they came out, don't start with Legend of Zelda. Start with A Link to the Past, or start with Ocarina of Time and work through that. That's pretty fair. I, I'd say Ocarina of Time has has aged pretty darn well. It has. It, like, it's it's still a game that, like, I can go back to. Even I didn't technically really grow up with it. I I think I watched... Did you play it when you were growing up? It was on that Zelda disc. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought, because I, I have memories of watching you or somebody play it, but I don't remember you necessarily, like, playing through the whole game. I did not. I, I just recently... So I recently beat all of the Zelda games. And I'm gonna time as part of that. Um, but it took a while for me to beat it. Um, I had it on that original Zelda disc. I was not good at it. That Majora's Mask very much vexed me. It was very confused. Um, but I really liked running around uh, the forest and going into the Deku Tree and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. The, the mini boss battle music. Again. It's it's way better than it should be. It's popping. It's popping. It's not sure it has any rights. It's like the resident of the game, so you should have good music, but like. Calm down. I cannot focus. Moblins, hello! tension right now. <laughs> Dangerously close to me. You got the grappling hook. The grappling hook. I, 
I think it's better. And this game's been training you. I'm just going to point this out. Nintendo is so good in this era at teaching you how to play the game. Mm -hmm. Um, I have been... We've been swinging on ropes this whole time. And it just seemed like this weird trope in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now, here we are. We're going to use the exact same trope. But now we get to use the rope wherever we want. Oh my gosh. You cannot gyro aim in this. It's really bad. Yeah, I. There's gotta be an option. I remember it being extremely clunky in the original. And Gyroscope is. I want it on. It, it might be because of your controller, honestly. No, I can't gyroscope. So I have to take my finger off of where I'm at and move it over. That's Absolutely the... tragic. Oh, I guess I don't have to hold the button, so never mind. It's not so bad. I think this is like where you get... This is where you get the key, right? Go to the boss. He's unlock things. You're not making any sense. Why? Why is that character in that movie so insanely memorable to me? <laughs> he's like he's not in any of the other Pirates of the Caribbean movies, but he has like two lines. One of them, or like two important lines. One line is he asks if keys unlock things, and the other is has a race in a bone um, prison with the with the main characters and you know he's gonna lose because one little orb has him in it and the other orb has every single other main character. Do you remember that thing he does with his hand where they're like climbing up? Oh my gosh he and he does like his fingers. it's so insanely ingrained in my mind the way he moves his hand <laughs> and points. That character can that be like a flagship character in at the way at the rate at which they create like third party characters or whatever and, and try to do spinoffs from them? Sure, I could definitely see them doing like Pirates of the Caribbean 16, what's his face? That one guy who does the curly finger thing. Where did you hear the key guy? Um I'm gonna call him Garrig. Yeah, yeah. Um, the origin story is below. We're not gonna be able to do this with other games, just absolutely blast through it without <laughs> even giving a thought to <laughs> God dude. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff to play. Yeah. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. We'll figure it out on the way. Is that Lizzie McGuire? Oh no, my god! That? I don't remember what- That's- that's- <laughs> I haven't even seen that. I haven't seen that show and I know. Oh shoot! Oh no! You this... definitely hit the third one too. I didn't hit it hard enough, clearly. Oh. This looks like a saw trap. It, oh my gosh, it totally does. It's even got the little symbol. Spiral in the book of saw. Yes, for the book of songs. I think that's the new one. I don't know. I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. That's about the end of this episode. So, next episode, we will go ahead and finish up this dungeon. Go away now. <laughs> you know what to do. And if you don't, ask someone. <laughs>